going to eat a meal that's been cooked by geothermal heat, AKA volcano vapors, slow cooked. They put it in in the morning around eight and they take it out around one. So I'm, I'm sure it will be, you know, moist and tender. All right, you see all those um, little wooden things right there? Yeah, those are the pits. So instead of a barbecue pit, they got a steam pit. They just dig into the ground right here, These and then there's a lot of naturally natural, uh, natural steam. steam. Yeah, takes about five hours, three meters underground. They have all of the meats, all of the vegetables, and no herbs or spices are added. Does it get flavored by the by volcano the, vapors at it all? Does and it's a really heavy meal that would hold you all day. I do not recommend it in the evening because it's heavier at nighttime. Oh, okay, but sometimes a heavy meal can like put me to bed, okay. which is good. Okay. All right, this is the meal cooked in a hot spring. It's kind of like a natural sous vide. It looks like it's a combination of cabbage, blood sausage, chorizo, chicken, pork. Is there any beef in here? I think there's some beef too. That's tender. Imagine living in this area. You can just go in your backyard, dig a hole, steam starts coming up, and then you just bury a pot filled with pretty much anything you want to eat. Come back six hours later, and it is juicy. I think I just need some sort of barbecue sauce. Yeah. That's the only thing. Not enough sauce. All right, just sampled food that was cooked in a volcano. All right, whatever, a hot spring, hot steam. I gotta say, not very impressed. I love the hot springs, we went swimming there. That was fun. The food, it was like, you know, if you went to a nice Texas barbecue restaurant and they slow cooked a shoulder of pork, and then they served it to you without any sauce or flavoring. So yeah, the meat was tender, but you gotta, you gotta soak that thing in sauce. You gotta pour some sauce on it. So I don't know, if you come across a hot spring, yeah, I recommend cooking food in it because if you if you leave it in the steam down in a hole for a while, it will come out nice and tender, but throw some goddamn sauce on it. The sauce is always the boss. See those white bags in the yellow water behind me? Those are filled with corn on the cob. They leave the corn in there for an hour to cook. I usually cook corn on the cob for like 15 minutes. So that has to be some pretty soft corn. Not complaining. That is what gives the water a yellow hue. Just working with what nature gave you. Gotta love it, sustainability. Oh, this guy's pulling out some corn right now. Thank you. That is delicious. I mean, I thought when they said that they left it in there for an hour, I thought the whole thing would just turn to mush. But great corn. Is there like naturally occurring butter in the hot spring? Because this tastes fully seasoned, but I think it's just, I think they just take it out of the, um, the husk and serve it to you. That is some hot water. So, many years ago, in the 80s, we had no walls here. And a man dipped in, oh, wow. died, and they would name it after him. How far down does it? We don't know. Oh, wow. Every year, it just goes down and down and down. Ah. We don't know how deep it is.
Behind me we have a crater lake, half blue, half green. Looks pretty snazzy. Up here, that is a five-star hotel that has been abandoned since the 80s. Only lasted a year, because back in the 80s, flights here were crazy expensive. And I mean, the weather here is decent, but it's not like incredible. So, yep, oh, only lasted 12 months. Good job. Good job, guys. Really, really thought that one out. All right, we're going in. We're going inside, let's go hound. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit, I feel like the raptors can just come down any second. Memes. Stairs gotta be through here. Oh, jackpot. Oh shit, that's the elevator shaft. Those things freak me the fuck out. Jesus Christ. Loads of graffiti. Gang. And uh, I, I believe this is my room for the night. Woo. What a view. Holy smokes, this is incredible. So this would have been my room in the five-star hotel, probably king-size bed over there. Not bad, I mean, we should just set up a tent and then we could literally stay here. Don't know who this guy's supposed to be. And then here's the bathroom. Oh, oh yeah, the remnants of a tub. Not, not a huge looking tub ruin for, you know, how fancy this place used to be. All right, now we're on the roof. A lot of tourists have joined me up here and I do need to warn you, uh, I saw some X-rated graffiti that I will show you in three seconds, okay? So if you don't wanna see it, just close your eyes for a couple seconds. One, two, three. It's, I mean, it's very realistic, but whew, there's kids up here. How did this place only last a year? Cause right now this is like one of the more beautiful spots I've been. You've got the ocean over there and then green fields right there. And over here we got the Crater Lake. to head down the spiral staircase. Oh, dumb thick chick number one. Dumb thick chick number two. Leaving. It's a cool hound. Very cool hound. Chef Donnie would be proud. Look at this thing. Uh, that's the coolest abandoned hotel I've ever been to. It's just a little shortcut out. Not very hard to break into. 